Hello, in this video we will be learning about texturing in Blender. In the previous video we've been looking at shaders in Blender and our shaders utilized only one color. So we can see a plain blue diffuse shade over here or we can use a plain blue glossy shader or a blue glass shader or whatever. Now plain shaders are boring. Almost everything in the real world has a texture. That is Instead of having a plain color, it has a variety of different different colors in it. And that tends to look better. It tends to look really appealing to the eye when we have different different textures in our scene. Especially if you're trying to shoot for photorealism, you should always use textures. And even something that looks so plain in the real world, like, like for example the walls in your room, that also has a texture, if you look pretty closely. How do we work with textures in Blender? Well. In the node editor, we can see a bunch of textures. If I press Shift A and then texture, we can see all these textures here. So I can make a brick texture, a checker texture, gradient texture, image texture, noise texture, sky texture, and so on. Now let me introduce you to a concept that doesn't really apply only to Blender, but can also apply to 3D in general. There are two types of textures, procedural textures, and image textures. So procedural textures are textures that are generated by the computer. So they're textures that were generated from mathematical functions. So for example, if I create a brick texture, this is a procedural texture. And if I just plug it into the color over here, we can see our cube is made of bricks. So if I add another plane, for example, and extend that out, and give that material the same as our brick, we can see that our plane has the brick automatically applied. We don't have to work with much images, we can play around with these functions. So I can change the scale of it. By increasing the scale, I actually decrease the size of the bricks on my um, plane there. And I can play around with all these other mathematical you know, numbers here to make my brick look uh, different. So just randomly sliding those numbers around, I can create different looking bricks and they're all done by mathematical functions. So all these textures here are procedural textures except the image texture. Now an image texture is a texture that is based off well an image, your, your own image. And image textures are great for photorealism. You would always want to use image textures if you want to push for that photorealistic look. So if I select an image, say an image from my own movie, random plug in there for my own movie, um, and then I connect that to the diffuse shader, well, I can't see anything there, and that's purely because the image texture doesn't know how to map my image to this plane. So I've got to pretty much uh, tell it to do so by adding a texture coordinate. And these are all the different settings I can use to tell uh, the image texture that this is how the image should be this is how the image should be displayed on the plane so I'm just going to use generated for now and there you can see it's sort of put it upside down shift a vector mapping I'm now going to use a generated output so this is pretty much blender deciding on its own which coordinates to use and then I'm going to plug it into the vector here now from this vector output into the image texture vector so now blender has decided that Yep, this is how the image will be stuck onto my 3D object. Well, I don't really like that, so I can obviously change it. For example, I probably want to rotate this image 180 degrees around so that I can see it properly. So on the z-axis, let's rotate it 180. And there you go. I can also change things like scale or, or just in case the image looks a little bit squashed or stretched, for example. And yeah, we can play around with different different things like that. So that's pretty much the basics of how to work with textures in Blender.